Much of my work in real estate has been as a buyer's rep or a tenant's rep. Uh, to me, what's most important in that work is uh, to start off with really great communication with the client. I really want to find out what are their needs, what are their desires, and uh, we have to come up with a budget, whether we're buying or leasing. And uh, the other thing I can be helpful with is uh, if they need financing for a purchase, uh, I can help them locate financing. But a big part of it is obviously the search for the property. And of course, these days, there's so much information online that the clients themselves can look at. But a lot of times you'll find there are things that aren't necessarily advertised online. And that involves talking to other brokers, driving a, a neighborhood or a region or an area, depending on the needs. And uh, the other thing that I like to do is provide analysis. Uh, let's look at the numbers a little closer. Let's try to uh, put things in sort of an apples to apples comparison uh, in doing things like price per square foot or lease per square foot. Let's look at the amenities. Let's look at the neighborhood. And um, so I, I try to provide some analysis for the client to help them in the decision-making process. And the other thing is, frankly, I will give my, my own honest opinion. Uh, I come from a conservative background. Uh, I got into the business when the rates of return on property were much greater than they are right now. And so uh, I, I tend to uh, really talk to the client and say, okay, does this really fit your goals as far as uh, whether it's investment or just for the needs of your business? So uh, I try to be a, a, not a devil's advocate, but another opinion just to help them think through the process because the last thing I want is uh, buyer's remorse. I don't want a client to actually proceed with the transaction and either come close to closing on it or actually close on it and then say, why did I do this?